Hello and welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to add a nice little convenience feature to our script by utilizing outputs to display information that we need. As you well know, we've been manually finding the public IP address of our instance to verify it. Well, that is incredibly inefficient. So let's add an output to make that a lot easier. So as you can see here in the docs, we have output values. And basically all we need to do is say output, give that output a name, and then specify a value. It's pretty straightforward. Now keep in mind, outputs are only rendered when Terraform applies the plan. So just running a plan is not going to work. We do need to apply it. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. All right, so what I want is just an output to get our IP address. And instead of referencing the instance, I'm going to reference that nice little data source we created to keep things very simple. So output, and we'll just call that public underscore IP underscore address, just like so. Open and close those braces. And then we need to give that a value. Now what I'm going to do is use interpolation syntax and we're actually going to take a look at a couple different little features here. So first up, all of this will be in quotes. And what I want is I want the name of our MTC VM. So if that is MTC VM, I want MTC VM colon IP address, whatever that might be. So to get that, what we're going to do is use interpolation syntax. Once again, that's a dollar sign in these curly braces, which allows us to utilize variables and reserved keywords within a quoted string. So what we're going to use is Azure RM underscore Linux virtual machine. Go ahead and tab through that dot MTC dash VM dot name, just like so. So that's going to give us our name. Now after that, we're going to add a colon and a space. And since those are outside of the interpolation syntax, as you can see, they are brown on my screen, which means they are part of the string. So once we've done that, of course, we could just use the same exact string dot public IP address, but we're going to use our data source, as I said. So for that, we'll use data dot Azure RM underscore public IP dot MTC IP dash data dot IP underscore address. All right. And as you can see, if I run a Terraform state show and just pass this in this first part, you can see IP address is the attribute that we want. All right, so let's go ahead and run our Terraform apply dash refresh only and let's see what happens here. All right, as you can see, there have been changes to outputs and here's what we're going to get. Absolutely, we would love to do that. So yes, apply complete. So now what I can do is just run Terraform output. That gives us all of our outputs. If there are multiple, you can also ask for that output specifically, just like so. All right, perfect. So now every time we apply, we're going to get our MTC VM or the name of the VM that we've got, colon IP address. All right, so that's all for this lesson. Go ahead and mark it complete. Come on back to the next one and let's continue the course.